One result of complement fixation is opsonization. Opsonization refers to the fact that macrophages, which are phagocytes, um, uh, have a higher affinity for pathogens covered in complement. So this pathogen up top, you can see it is decorated with C3Bs, that's complement fixation. And macrophages, yes, they're phagocytes, and will they phagocytose pathogens? They'll do an okay job doing it. So there are three bacteria down there, and there's a macrophage, and we'll learn about macrophage receptors in a later video. But macrophages have receptors that bind substances on the surface of pathogens, and sure, if that happens, the macrophage will phagocytose the pathogen. But if a pathogen is covered in C3Bs, that actually um, makes the macrophage uh, phagocytose the pathogen with a higher efficiency. So decorating a pathogen with C3Bs results in higher efficiency of phagocytosis, and that is the process of opsonization. So if you look here, this macrophage, it has proteins on its surface that have a high affinity for complement, things like C3B. Um, these proteins uh, are called complement receptor proteins, and they have names like CR1, CR3, and CR4. So a macrophage, we'll learn about the receptors on the surface of macrophages, and now we're learning about complement receptors on the surface of macrophages. So let's talk about CR1, for example. CR1, it's a receptor protein found on the surface of actually many cells, including macrophages. And the complement receptor 1, CR1, has a high affinity for C3B when C3B is attached to a pathogen. So these two pathogens here, the one up top, that one, and this one here, uh, they're covered in C3Bs, and if that's the case, then the CR1 protein will bind C3B, and that will trigger receptor-mediated endocytosis. So the pathogen will be taken into the vesicles of the macrophage and destroyed, which is phagocytosis. So complement fixation, one way you can help remove pathogens from the body, is leading to opsonization. Covering something with C3Bs makes macrophages and other cells that have complement receptors, things like neutrophils, uh, dendritic cells, uh, and we'll learn about those cells later. Uh, any cell that has a complement receptor um, is going to be able to bind and phagocytose this pathogen with a much higher affinity. That is opsonization. Um, opsonization doesn't refer just to covering something in complement. It could refer to some other aspect of the immune system, which we'll, I'll introduce now, but we'll get to in a later unit. So again, macrophages have proteins on their surface that have some affinity for a pathogen. So will a macrophage interact with these bacteria? Probably, and phagocytose it. But if a pathogen is covered in C3Bs, complement fixation, then the macrophages will use their uh, CR1 receptors to bind that pathogen with a much higher affinity and phagocytose that pathogen much better. We will learn later that antibodies also work via opsonization. So if you cover a pathogen with antibodies, macrophages will have a high affinity for that pathogen and phagocytose it with a higher affinity or higher efficiency as well. So opsonization does, doesn't just cover complement proteins, it covers any substance that can be attached to the surface of a pathogen and that makes the, the pathogen more attractive to phagocytes such as macrophages and neutrophils. So that covers opsonization, one of the mechanisms by which complement helps remove pathogens from the body.